This is almost like James Bond Golden High sounding music. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and start the death train here. Um, I've tested a few world gen settings. The world should be a little bit more forgiving than it is. I think. I also messed with a couple and might have screwed some things up. We'll go with a random character. I've also readjusted the load order of the mods and I think removed just a couple that might have been screwing things up even more. <laughs> The second character is a clown who starts in a burning building. He's fleet-footed. He knows launchers, melee, shotguns, tailoring, and trapping, and he's quite perceptive, but none of- I, I was told that the stats don't matter, thanks to one of the mods I'm using. So here we are. Um, now, one of the first things I'm gonna have to do with this clown is get new shoes. We can run more quickly. We run more quickly than most, resulting in a 15% speed bonus on shore footing. Hmm. This clown would throw the best birthday parties. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of time in here. I also don't have really any storage, and apparently we started in a convenience store. We were in here trying to get these bananas! That's gonna be our weapon of choice. We've gotta grab those. There's an erotic novel over there. Some blueberries that we don't need. And a pair of rubber boots. So before this building burns down, we need to pick up these bananas and switch out our, uh, our boots here. Let's... I don't know what command that is, game. Like it says I can wear it. How about that? We're already wearing footwear. Game, don't tell me I'm cursed. Yes, let's drop the clown shoes. Okay. So, unless I screwed something up. Now we've got rubber boots on. And I know I'm not uh, upholding clown tradition by wearing the full clown regalia, but... Let's be realistic. We need speed. This is just stat skills one. Just the basic one. I wasn't sure on the exact differences of the other ones. So I didn't really want to mess with them. A steak knife. I'd like something as a weapon, but... I don't think it's going to happen. we got to get out of this place, though. We've seen what happens if we stick around. And we start in a fairly small little rural community. Kind of on the outskirts. Is there anything of note nearby? Houses, houses, restaurant. A fast food restaurant. Maybe there's like a clown academy somewhere. A clothing store. A clothing store would be probably the ideal location. And an antique store. Good morning, Grimoth. Um, let's see. Music store or a military surplus store. Just something so that I can have a little bit more storage. I don't know if, like, what the best method to go is, but it seems like there's two things you almost always have to get whenever you start off. Storage and maybe some drugs. Some coke. Some meth. Something to have speed. And we just got blasted by lightning. The turkey flies over the chain link fence as a shocker zombie to the north that I just ran into shocked me. This might be the quickest clown death ever. Okay. Also, I don't know if you guys can see the mini-map to the south, but fuck that way. Even though I just got all their attention. Run for your life, Clownington! You're fleet-footed. He's running and honking and... Doing his best. There we go. Just like... Just one little breather. 
That's all I need. A restaurant? No. I don't think this is going to have anything. A chef's jacket. That probably has a bit of space. Five storage. Not really. Sometimes jackets will have as much space as, say, a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah, I cranked the quality up, Grimoth. Um, my, my ISP hasn't got their timer on me yet. Probably about 7 o'clock in the morning, then I'll get hit by it. Marbles. If I could make a slingshot... I bet if I had a heavy stick, it makes a decent melee weapon. Um, too bad it's about ready to break, it looks like. Like, what would, it's, what does it take to craft a slingshot? I'm sure you can. Make slit, makeshift machete, a slingshot. A heavy stick and a rubber hose. I've never seen a rubber hose. It's probably one of those things you can get by disassembling an item. Hmm. A swashbuckling novel. There's also sounds in the house from below us. Of course, it's a spider house. Half tempted to burn it down. But I don't know if we want to start down the pyromancy path yet. A dust mask. Hmm. I might as well take that. It's spring, and for some damn reason, frostbite is still a problem. Bar of soap. My location here has been compromised anyways. Smash refrigerators? Should I just beat them down with my big stick? Smash a fridge to get a hose. <coughs> As I sit here and die. <sighs> pair of boots, probably more useful than the rubber boots, but we're going to keep those on because one of my other problems, uh, besides being cursed with horrible spawns, is drawing the attention of every acid zombie in the area. Aspirin. Okay. Now, if I can find a fridge, did I pass one up somewhere? I don't think I did. This house does have a fridge. Where did that zombie go? That's spooky. I'm not used to zombies backtracking and disappearing. It's right outside. Great for siphoning gasoline, huh? Well, that's good to know. I'm gonna try to smash this thing. We're gonna get a couple zombies after us and then probably die. Um, we kick it once. There's vodka. What do I need to bash it? <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to kick this thing down, right? Nope. And a grabber zombies come through the window. I probably need a sledgehammer or some real tool for that. I need to get realistic here. Surely you can't just smash that down with, like, what am I using? My banana? And thrashing the damn thing? Don't even try it, possum. Probably just as wily as a raccoon. My other arch, arch enemy. Okay. Has to be wrecked to pieces. Yeah. Well, I'm be I'm slowly being chased by zombies there, and I'm trying not to. M whoops! I'm trying not to make a bunch of noise. The zombie tries to grab us, but fails miserably. <sighs> to the east is a shocker zombie, a shrieker zombie, a couple other nasty zombies. What? Oh, this is the music store. Okay, I'm gonna... We're gonna go in here anyways. A tuba? I need a saxophone. If we're gonna die... A harmonica with a holder? We need to die right. They don't have a saxophone. How utterly depressing. Was I just asking for too much from there? 
Fucking lightning zombies, go away. And they're incredibly quick, okay. Yes, I know I'm running deeper into town, and that's, that's dumb. But the town's pretty small, and I'll be on the outskirts of it very soon. Not soon enough, unfortunately. God damn it. Okay. See, I'm just mapping out the area. This is all tactical reconnaissance. Hmm. These are things that I cannot reconnaissance away from. Go away, dog, please. My fleet footedness is not gonna last forever. I'm gonna have to fight at some point. This stick had better not break on me. I think it's just down to the dog. Okay, come here, you little bony bastard. Nope. Hmm. I have no way to tell what's behind the smoker zombie either. He's blocking my entire field of view down there. He could have the entire horde with him still. And he probably does. To the northwest is a survivor, I think. Can I yell? Let's go back to running. So I, I, if I can... There's a survivor over there fighting stuff. God damn it. Help me! I'm a clown! I'm not a fighter! Well, it was a nice try. We got smoked. That wasn't a bad character. Come on. For a first run, and a clown, I was expecting to die a lot quicker. I know, never go through the center of towns. So someday I'll learn my lesson. Tanks do exist. Uh, it's a specific mod that you have to have, unfortunately. So we've got Stephen Flattery here, a parkour expert, disease resistant, forgetful. He knows archery, marksmanship, and s submachine guns, and he can swim a little bit too. No, it will be him. Damn, I thought that I did wield that stick. Someone slap me. Can you do that? Excuse me, sir. Gene Stinson. Hey. You want to travel with me? Um, come on, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, you're fine. If we're not going to go together, you know I can't leave here without any equipment. He doesn't care about anything at all. We start, like normal, with the nothing. A matchbook, a pocket knife, some clean water, a down-filled blanket. Can I wear that? The question is, when I wear a blanket, where does it go? It goes over my whole body and, okay. Never mind. I was hoping like we could, maybe there's a way to do it, hang on. Activate. Okay, we can't do anything interesting with it. If we could just take the... Maybe I can craft it. There's got to be something we can do with the blanket. Like, wrap it around us like a cape. A pair of sock mitts. No. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but if I was... If I was freezing to death, I could use a blanket as a cape, as a cloak, as a robe... A blanket would be one of the most versatile pieces of clothing you could possibly have. And there's nothing down there as far as I can tell. Thankfully we start on the outskirts of town, of course. To the east. There's a strange temple down there. Use the knife on it to cut it up. I'm guessing what, into rags? I might as well, well, I might as well try it, I guess. Let me go up the stairs here. Okay, so what do we do? Butcher, tear, rip, cut up an item with the pocket knife. Okay, cut up the blanket. Yes, I'm sure. We get 13 rags from it, which allows us to craft chest wrap, turbans, 
I do need sock mitts, but I don't I don't want to know about hand wraps. They only give 5 warmth though, but that's the same as sock mitts, so there we go. Oh, I can't see the craft. Let's pick that up. I keep forgetting that we can't knit in the dark for some reason. Our character does not have the dexterity for that yet, or the muscle memory. So, we'll wear you. Probably should craft a turban as well. Something for me head. Okay. We have to make this first hit count. The first building we hit in this town on this edge has to matter because we're gonna wake up everything in the area as soon as we do. There's a pharmacy, houses, clothing store. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we hit we go from the doctor's office south. Doctor's office, skip the pizza parlor, pharmacy, or clothing store, gas station. Fast food restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants in this part of town. Where's the pawn shops and stuff? Here, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit. Just while we're running through here, once we get to town, though, the, the action's got to be zoomed in pretty close. Okay, do we have anything in here? No. The most damaged unit here is the controls. The steering wheel is completely bent. Possibly a couple other things. If this was the finest headwear for me, I would be getting some sticks and adding fake antler horns to it. Jumper cables. A jumper cable, like you've seen many times before. It's got plastic and steel. Okay. Well, time out. I don't think we're gonna be going to the pharmacy. There is a very large group of zombies over there. And a manhack. Where's the manhack at? To the west. I think the zombies and the manhack might be getting into it. They're gonna have a really hard time being coordinated enough to actually hit that thing. And I feel like I'm being chased. Like they might have saw me up there. Okay, what do we have here? A fancy house. I'm guessing those inner doors are probably locked. Hmm. Is that a yo-yo? No, it's a pool ball. I was like, I'll go fight for a yo-yo. This house is nice. I'm already liking this. Aluminum can of beer. This would... This place might make a really... Great hideout. A knit hat. Let's take that and wear that over the turban. It slides... It's... I, no, I don't want to wield it. It slides on over the turban. Providing an additional layer of warmth. Okay, so that door is going to lead outside. We've got food and a fridge. And from the south we hear glass breaking. Something's found me already. you got to be joking me. What is this? A tobacco pipe. We take it. Hmm. From the southeast there's glass breaking. This is the game of hats, Deso. Whoa! We've been shot in the torso. So where's that turret at? Son of a gun. The General Atomics TX-1 Guardian. A small pill-shaped automated gun turret using state-of-the-art ATR systems to dynamically reorient itself to new friends and enemies alike. It's got two SMG barrels. Compression top. There's a couple, there's a lot of things up there I'd like to get, but I don't think I would ever, ever be able to deal with that turret. Like, I think those are military ID cards. Okay. Take off running. 
I don't like, no, I refuse to play zoomed out. I'm using the red dots on the map. That's, that's all I'm going to use. I'm going to keep protesting. Well, hello there, you little lightning bastard. Maybe this is where we die. If I was really good, I'd, I'd learn how to use this turret to my favor. By, like, kiting the zombies over here. Hmm. Can this thing start up? It's got a damaged security system. Yes. Did we, did we start it? We did start it, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna floor it. No! <laughs> it started, but how come... I, I didn't see that it had no... That it had no wills. Where does it say that? Okay, I see where it says it wills. Lacks them. Hmm. Well, we've got a running vehicle here. Just waiting to attract all the zombies. Also, I'm running into the mouth of the beast. Janice Jordan, the NPC, is up here. If I can get a chance to yell at her, I'm going to. Oh, hey. We're all types of screwed. A feral runner. Yep. Janice! I can see you on my eye tracker. Why are you burning the building down? Hmm. Well, maybe we can hide in here for a bit. Those shockers are bastards. Okay. We're just gonna hide here. Maybe the zombies will go down there and be, like, distracted. There's a lot of gunfire going on, too. Oh, what, you're not going to play with the fire down there? And there's a giant D in here. What? What is that? A Velociraptor. We're in a dinosaur park. M a moose corpse. Oh my goodness. Janice Jordan burns their legs and feet. She's electrocuted. Well. There is some major explosions going on there. And I'm going to be killed by this stupid zombie. Let's take off running. I'm not entirely sure what's blowing up down there, but good lord. Let's just get out of here. Yes, it was loud. Like I said, not all the sounds in these sound packs are balanced to a reasonable level. The Rottweiler climbs to its feet. Wait a second, what is this? Oh, it's a turkey that's fleeing from the explosions, I think. It was rustled from its roost. I really need to be able to get into this house. Oh, cargo pants. Nice. Please don't be a spider basement. Thankfully, I don't think it is. And But unfortunately, I don't have a way to light anything up. So what do we have down here? Mufflers, glass bottles. Is there a flashlight? Or a lantern anywhere? Somebody's little survival cellar. A heavy stick. There we go. There's my weapon bag. Takes a very long time to wield it, but at least this time we're armed. If we need to, like, poke a turd down the toilet or something, we can use this stick. I doubt it'll help us kill any zombies. Okay, well, I don't guess there's anything down here. Plastic bottle, a towel. I would take the towel, charcoal smoker. Oh wow, there's a lot of crap here. Marble, heavy stick, heavy stick. 
cigarette butt a survivor's note. Let's see. The green fever shall purge the land for his chosen children. I have seen his black fire shine in the eyes of the afflicted and eagerly await the day he shall consume us all. So we got a, a what is it? Cthulhu cult down here? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his language down there. It'd probably summon him anyways. He could light, make fire on a stick. That would be kind of neat. A muffler, yeah. Okay. So, regardless of what I do right now anyways, maybe we should just wait until nighttime. I don't know what time it is. But I'm, I'm going to pass a lot of time just sitting here in the corner. Hear that? They're up there breaking stuff. My question is, is my pain rising or going down? Hmm. Okay. I'm slowly starting to feel better. Disease resistant parkour expert. What exactly does that even do? We're skilled at clearing obstacles. Terrain like railings or counters are as easy for us as solid ground. By my clock thing? Is that the little plus down there? I'd have to assume that my character can really only estimate. He doesn't know how long he's been sitting down here in the dark. The pitch blackness. Will the zombies have left by the time we go up there? Wait, socks? You can never have enough socks. And no, I don't think they will have left. Okay. The blue light, yeah, that little plus sign. I guess maybe I can see the light as I look up the stairs. I can see it reflecting off the wall, casting a shadow and slowly moving along it. I think we've wasted enough time. We've got to go get food. Okay. If we head north, we'll be on the outskirts of town, and that will take us to the antique store. Grocery store, and another house. Hmm. Zombie survival guide. While this seems like it'd be very useful in this situation, the sheer amount of misinformation present makes it practically useless. MP3 player. I think we'll take that. Are any of my clothes tore up? No. I honestly would have figured from the beating that we took that at least something would have been ripped. And there's a boomer. That's where we say nope and we open a window and just roll out of it. Okay. I want the antique store. Whether or not we can make it there. A multivitamin. I've actually heard that vitamins are incredibly important. And if you don't have them, you can actually die. Cardboard box of raw macaroni. Sloppy Joe. Okay, this is what we need. A little bit of food before we get ready to run on our suicide mission. I think we're going to take the Sloppy Joes with us, the raspberries, and that's it. Oh, I guess you're the previous owner of this place. Aspirin. A long rope. I believe that can be used as crafting, but we can also wear it as a belt for now. Some unused bandages. And there we go. There's a few foods that negate the need for vitamins. I saw a mod, too, that turned vitamins off. I was half tempted to get it because I don't know if I'm quite ready to worry about that. I don't see anything close on the radar that would be able to kill us. If we're lucky, the door will be open, and it is. Oh, it is time for a shopping spree. 
Hey, Slacks, what's up? Did you have fun killing a shit ton of zombies? Sealed display cases. Hammer of the Hunter. Broadsword, a Chris. I think those are the weapons that I need. We're just going to have to make a lot of noise to get them. A flintlock rifle. Beautiful. Baseball bat, a petrified eyeball. Hmm. I'm not a wizard, so it's not really of any use to me. A pocket watch, there we go. Then we'll know for sure exactly what time it is. Um, basically. I guess I don't have to wear a pocket watch because it is in my pocket. It's a pocket watch. Okay. I knew that. This, yeah, this is all really arcane shit. A brazier, a brazier, however you want to pronounce it. Put the eyeball on my head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this glass and get maybe the stick of the hunter there or whatever. Hmm. Once we do that, we're gonna have to make a run for it though. It's gonna set off an alarm. Hammer of the hunter, I mean. Or maybe it won't. Maximum one charge of dull essence. A warhammer inlaid with silver, engraved with religious invocations in an archaic form of Latin. Many magical items can be purified with this item. Using it will channel consecrated essence into a stunning flash, though using it as a double-edged sword. Moves per attack. It's got a 20 bashing. I thought that was going to set off some type of alarm, but if it's not, then... I guess we'll take it. It doesn't really weigh that much. Um... Moves per attack. Uh -huh. Is it better to have more moves per attack or low moves per attack? Like, is 100 better than 115? The katana has the highest cutting out of all of them. The cutlass has a higher to hit bonus. Katanas are badass regardless. The cutlass would make us more like a pirate. Low moves, huh? Where do you see the quality at? Is it the little slash next to it? The forward slash? I would- I have to be- I have to really decide here. We've also got the Chris. I doubt that's how it's pronounced, but wow. 86 moves per attack, but it does basically no damage. Okay. The description gives away how how the quality is. A cutlass and flintlock rifle combo. Very tempting. Um, let's dispose of the heavy stick. Just drop it. Okay. We're now somewhat armed, at least. Let me check my armor. Got rope on the outside. Arm guards. Pair of socks. Goes down. Apparently I've got two pairs of socks on, just to be sure. I've got cargo pants and jeans on. It's perfect. Pair of hand wraps, turban. Okay. Some swords are cheap replicas. Well, this hammer that I picked up had better not blow up in my face. I'll be pretty disappointed. Oh, where do we want to go? That's the question. Abandoned storefront. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon, so we've got a lot. We've got plenty of time. I say we go to the west. We'll just continue to kind of map out the outskirts of this town. The zombie necromancer to the west. There's a lot of bad things over to the west. Okay. 
Glamopolitan. Can I drive this vehicle? No, I don't have a screwdriver to hotwire it. I have been keeping my eyes peeled for any type of tools. Most damage is security system. We take control of the flatbed truck. It starts up. Okay. We're gonna turn around. And I definitely do need to zoom out here. Hmm. We're gonna floor it. I don't know how fast this thing can go, but we'll go up to like 40 miles per hour. Just run over some of these zombie bastards. We're, oh shit, a tank. I don't know if I can weave between it. Oh, the house! We nick the house and bounce off of it. And we splatter a zombie as our front end slides into him too. Okay. I don't know where we're going. 30's enough? This thing is... We fumble with the flatbed truck's controls, so that's what's happening. I can't drive. Lo and behold, I never actually passed my driver's test. Hmm. We have a radio tower up ahead. I've never been to a radio tower. From the east, we hear a whir. I swear, if I get surrounded by man hacks, let's slow down. Um, how do I shut this damn thing down? Stop driving. Remember the vehicle position. Yeah, stop driving. We turn the engine off and let go of the controls. Okay. I was hoping that there would be something here. Like maybe a little building or something? Hmm. I guess not. I was going to say we could make that little radio station, that tower be our outpost but I guess we'll turn around and try to head back we'll see if I can if I can return in one piece come on buddy just keep it on the road don't hydroplane into a bus or something you're not even wearing your seatbelt we completely flatten a Rottweiler that tries to get in our way. You know, this is kind of an effective way of dealing with zombies, I think. Um, if I could find <laughs> that lightning zombie, I would run him over and just get a little bit of revenge on him. Also, I don't know where we're going. This thing is going to break down and leave me stranded in a very bad location at some point. Hmm, why am I not going? Is it because I hit that fence? I think I've messed up. I think I made a bad mistake. Um, let's let go of the controls. We can't take... Oh wait, we do take control. I need to examine this piece of shit. Stop driving. We turn the engine off. Okay. Something broke on it, I think. Or at the very least, I'm stuck. Nope. I just had to jimmy the controls for a second. Well, I turned the speed completely down whenever I stopped moving. So I was just sitting there kind of spinning out. Oh, man. I really wanted to hit that. I need to slow way down. I really wanted to hit that large group. See, I... I used to be a NASCAR driver in a previous life. We're just drifting around. Taking down any zombies that get in the way. You ever see that movie Driver? That's, that's who we are right now. Speed up to about 60? No. I don't even think this thing would stay in one piece at 60. However. I really need to find out what we're doing. An abandoned storefront. If there's a gas station around here, I could try to refill this thing with gas. Somehow. We could head north and see what's there. There's a lab up there. To the northeast. Okay. Hey! 
You remember me, motherfucker? Somehow he juked and jived out of the way. I'm disappointed. He shot his lightning shit at us, but it didn't actually connect. We're gonna leave that town in our dust and forget about it. We've got better places to go. Like, maybe this gas station up here. See, this is where I would... I don't mind being completely zoomed out. Let's start slowing down. Okay. <sighs> Turn around and get him. You have no idea how tempting it was. No, I don't want to use the gasoline pump yet. This place, maybe this could be our base. Some aspirin. Take it. I'm slightly hungry. So while we're here, let's grab some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mm -mm -mm. It's the best meal we've had all day. Even better than that sloppy joe that some poor person slaved over before they died. So, I need a tube if I'm going to pump this gas, right? Shift S is stop. Well. Welcome to the CC Bot ATM. Can I buy, like bash one of these things? To get tubes from? It's a vending machine. Hey, Cowboy Duke. Mm, as I slurp down my morning tea. Well, I was really wanting to get something done here. Specifically, get some gas. Do I have a container to put anything in? Plastic bottle of water? Not really. It may take a few hits. I'm not even going to try. Pull up right next to it. I'll try it. We'll go in reverse for a little bit. Or I could just probably run into one. I'm worried I'm going to crash into it. Uh, Shift S is save and quit. We pull a handbrake. Instantly stopping the vehicle. Okay. Pump gas, yes. Well, I'm within one tile range. Fill, fill nearby vehicle. There we go. We refill the flatbed truck with gasoline. With a clang and shudder, the glass gasoline pump goes silent. Okay. Actually, no! <laughs> My guy swerved at the last second and hit that. What have you done, you fool? That is a Ricky Bobby move. Congratulations, you're probably going to kill yourself. I don't know if the truck's on fire now or not. You had one job, dude, and that was to drive a straight line. <laughs> you disappointed everything. So I'd say, if I'm not mistaken, we've got impaired hearing, we're in pain, we should definitely be burned and coated in all types of glass. Hmm. We're just like, no one else is going to ever use this gas station again, and I'm going to make damn well sure of it. Well, it's not... Ooh, what is this? Did I kill that thing? If I did... Yes, okay. Stupid smoker zombie. I see all these bodies here. We need to see what they've got. It could be something useful. Cargo pants. Still toed boots. I need like a scientist card. Maybe a first aid kit. Plastic bag of low grade methamphetamine. I guess we'll take it. Pair of hard leg guards. Um, unfortunately. What do I need? 
Let's eat something. Let's eat a little bit of... Wait. Use the aspirin. I can eat... Wait. Eat the bandage? Hmm. I guess our torso and our right arm are in the worst. Like, condition. I find it strange that we use the bandages like food, but... Oh well. And my right arm? Maybe this just stops the bleeding? Use our bandage. Okay. Take all the meth that I can possibly carry. And there's an RM228 shotgun. It's a damn shame it doesn't have any ammo or it might have actually been useful to me. I don't know what happened here that got a whole bunch of drug dealers. And people in their swimsuits murdered. Well, it's a good thing we're not. It's a good thing our torso is, I guess, completely ripped. It takes more than a gas station explosion to the chest to kill me. Military shotgun. We'll have to remember that location. Hmm. And I think we just flattened a coyote that... Is this coyote running 20 miles per hour? It is. That's ridiculous. Let's floor it up to 30 and see if we can leave it behind. Oh, a crack climbs to its feet. I almost thought that said that it climbed into the vehicle. There's a gremlin on the wing! I mean, there's a gremlin in the back of the truck. And then I'd have to let go of the controls. While the truck was still going. And fight the crack. I think we've made it a parking lot and a mine entrance. Well, I don't quite care about going into the mines. Running over ants is always fun, though. So far, I think that if you want to get revenge on things in this game, you just need to find a vehicle that works. Also, I should probably keep my eyes on the road. Come here, crack. Oh my god. That thing might have just about broke the truck. Cracks are built like um, tank traps. What is this? I think this is a helicopter crash. A military black box. Heavy stick. Spiked plating. I think sometimes you can find interesting objects around those crashes. But if I stop this vehicle, there's no guarantee it can even start up again. In this condition. I guess, uh, a part... I, like... I guess a good thing to do with the vehicle would be to fix up a bus or something massive and just use it as a roaming, a mobile home. Keep all your supplies and stuff in it and just go from town to town loading it down, right? Is there a way to fortify these things like add armor plating and bulletproof windows? And what do we have here? A missile silo? Well, I think we should come to a stop. Okay. I'm curious what we've got here at this missile silo. I'm probably not going to be able to get in yet. I need a military ID card, which is what I was looking for earlier. I was hoping one of those dead bodies would have had it. The flatbed truck's engine fails to start. I told you guys. This was what I was worried about. The battery is completely dead. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. The only good news is if I go back along the highway, there's probably a trail of death. I won't have to worry about it.
No, the battery died. I think, I don't know how bad the chat lag is, but this is not good. Well, I'm not going back towards the mine, obviously. Duncan Moser is there, and he's been picked up on our handheld radio, asking for assistance, but I'm not going back towards that anthill. Vehicles are incredibly detailed in this game. It's honestly almost scary. I guess, actually, we're going to head back to this crash site down here and see if it has... A small yet pow powerful four-cylinder en engine. See if um, if there's any military ID cards down here. Don't even do it, raccoon. You keep your freaking distance, you rabies-infested thief. Basically, the Migo snuck up on me. I didn't see it. And then it ripped my heart out. Through my damaged, bandaged up chest. That's just one more reason to fear Migos. I thought it was a fucking plant. And look at the raccoon. I don't know if it's there to fight the Migo or to just laugh at me. Yes, the death of Hatman. All he wanted to do was grow up and be a race car driver. He got to live his dream. We got we got Migoed. We killed 16 zombies. I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> They're all plastered on the grill of that vehicle. Damn you, Migos. Wow. Look at Suzette Chavez here. She's pretty. She's a masochist. She's self-aware. She's poison-resistant. She's got melee weapon training. She knows how to use bashing weapons. She's good at public speaking, survival, and trapping. Well, let's go, Suzette. She has various styles she can choose from. Eskrima, also known as Kali. It emphasizes rapid strikes with knives and baton weapons. Fencing can take advantage of advances and retreats. We've got Salat. Fighters stay low and mobile to avoid attacks and then unleash deadly critical hits. Nitten Ichi. Um, doesn't really say what it does except that it's versatile with a couple different weapons. And medieval swordsmanship. Are any of these completely overpowered? I'm just going to call you Parth from now on. Parth, you, you seem to know most about various combat and melee combat styles. A solar car? I've seen those little dinky things. They're no bigger than a bike. <laughs> Nichin Ishii is crazy powerful. Realtor, I'm not taking fencing to build fences. I think we'll go just basic medieval swordsmanship. It's designed for combat both unarmed and in armor. It includes grappling as well as defensive and offensive techniques. Also gives you some familiarity with pole arms. So let's see, we start with a pocket knife, probably not one of those weapons I'm skilled with, but in a pinch, maybe we could cut some throats with it. Lob off some zombie heads. A lighter, okay. Can I just activate the lighter? I almost burned this place down. A raincoat. I get it, yes. 
We're gonna be the yellow banana man. Large fire extinguisher, that would probably be nice. And a winter coat. Okay. I would actually rather have... Well, I've already got a winter coat on, so never mind. I don't need two. A heat pack, I'll take... Okay. These, these evacuation shelters never have very good items in them. So, I, this is where my styles are, huh? Keep hands free. Medieval swordsmanship, that's what we're gonna go with. So are you friendly or are you a jerk, Jack? Oh god. Goddamn hurts. What hurts? I'm infected. I think this is the guy from Fight Club. It's Jack Norton. I'm infected badly. I need to get some antibiotics for me. I'll do it. Can you spare me any equipment, though? Just something to fight with. Well, I'm helping you out. He gives us some drugs. That's not what I was asking for. Okay. The last thing I need is that stuff. I'm pretty sure that diazepam is... Um, I don't even know how to check it. I'm pretty sure that diazepam is some type of muscle relaxant. Check the evac computer. I checked it last time. Let's see, emergency message, what, the contact us? Because I've read that before. Takes us for, oh, it, I guess it did put a marker on our map for the refugee center, huh? I didn't know that it actually did that. Question is, where is it? Oh, maybe it's all the way down here. No, that's a radio tower. So this is the same town we were just in because there's that strange temple. I think we're going to head to the temple first. It's probably going to be bad and kill me. But, uh, it can be really far out. Okay. Well, if for some reason I find a working vehicle and I don't die trying to get to this temple, maybe we'll try to try to make it there. It's a big rectangle. I think I've seen it in another game. I just never actually went to it. The refugee center in this world is in a completely different state. We've got to drive 300 miles just to get to it. A bunch of bad stuff up there. Rattlesnakes. Rabies infested rabbits. Is there anything I can do with a pocket knife or should I just... Is it just crafting only? So what the heck is this place? It's a impassable pedestal. It's smashable though. Let's smash it. At least we try to. A metal grate, so... The pedestal is engraved in I-shaped diagrams, and it has a large semi-spherical indentation in the top. So do I need to find- I need to find some type of key to put in there, I guess? <coughs> I need a bowling ball. That's what I need. Okay, we got a long run ahead of us. I'm probably going to end up getting ambushed by something and killed. Wait, it's too too late. I've already come too far. We'll come back to the temple later. We need to get to the petrified eyeball. So what? Should I go try to make it back up to the antique shop? Because that's where the eyeball was. A wolf. No, go away, animals. Okay, we'll go get the petrified eyeball and then bring it back and try to put it in that pedestal. That's the mission for this guy. He's got to get antibiotics for that dick bag down there that gave us drugs. And then a petrified eyeball for the temple. Okay, we're, we're already being chased by a zombie cop. Who I would love to kill just for his gun. From the north we hear a huge explosion. The shocker zombie misses the turret. That shocker bastard is still up there. They're swarming the turret. I don't know if you can see it on the mini-map. 
But the zombies have had enough, and the turret is chopping all of them down. Wow. Okay. I'll, I'll accept that. There's... Oh, a man hack. Please, no man hack. Please be friendly. Or at least leave me alone. Oh, fucking man hack is gonna just ruin my day. Man hacks just do hit and run tactics all day long. Potato seeds and stuff. We found a beautiful garden. Within another man hack, that's not the same one. Go away. I, uh, maybe that is the same man hack. Maybe it's just doing a huge circular flight pattern. A lab coat. Hmm. I've got to get. I've got to try to get inside a building and lose it somehow. It's just. Con it's gonna kill us with a million little manhack paper cuts. If I had like a net that we could throw over its blades, that would be perfect. Okay. Also, manhacks I believe can see in the dark, so you can't even like hide from them there. So we're in a pizza parlor. Not exactly where I want to be, but it's close. We've got the pharmacy to the south that I really wanted to dive into, and then the doctor's office up there. Okay. Take some cola. What can we eat? We're just going to stuff our face with a couple bags of cheese. It's shredded pepper jack. Yeah, we run a pizzeria, Slacks, and we use man hacks to deliver the pizzas and cut the pizzas. Here we go, a purse. It fits our our fashion so well. Playboys, pot, and another purse. Okay, so how much storage do I have? Up to 61. A rag, yes. We're just gonna sit here and rest for a minute. Graber, Grabber, Grieber, I tried, I've got the mod installed. Um, it's scary. I don't suggest going into the abandoned pizza parlor if you can help it. Okay, that's a big fat zombie. It's one of those nasty toxin filled bastards. We kick open the windows in the doctor's office and begin to creep through the halls here. What do we got? A hacksaw. It could be used to craft survivor utility belt. Nope, nope, nope. From the south we hear a crash as the zombie tries to hunt us down. I just need antibiotics. Just let me get in and out. A pair of rubber gloves. Perfect. They're tearing up the doctor's office to try and find me. Go figure. Patient treatment records. A massive stack of medical records that contain every gory detail. Let's take that. It might be something we can read and learn something from later on. Hmm. I'm guessing the drugs are in through this door. Bypass security? Yes. We try, but unfortunately fell and the console dies. Okay. So that was a bust. I had to try to hack the console, though. I knew it wouldn't work. It, it is just for fun, Diso. In the apocalypse, it really doesn't matter how everybody died, does it? Is it is it wrong to want to know all the details? You know what? I better take that extinguisher as a weapon. Where did you come from, you zombie scum? I didn't even- I was watching my mini-map the whole time. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll try to head up to the antique store. There's a nice big bus. That's what I want.
I see you zombies, you're not gonna catch me though. Or maybe you will, because I'm dumb. And I don't know how to path. <laughs> I'd say it took multiple turns. It took like five turns because they came from completely off the screen to get me. Also, there's another shocker zombie there. Which, amazingly enough, didn't have have range on me. Mm -hmm. A fanny pack, some matchbooks, a ukulele. I'm sure instruments are nice to have, especially if you're trying to battle depression. But they're not worth suiciding over. I thought we were in the same town. Maybe the antique store is all the way over here. Either way, I'm not going the ideal path that I want to go down. Oh, go away, you skeleton. I'm probably going to have to fight you, aren't I? Skeletons are surprisingly fast and nimble. For, you know, being skeletons and all. And what do we have here? A fancy house. We've never seen a design of its kind before. Rain code. It's one of those fancy, energy efficient designer houses. Hmm. Let's just pour that water on the ground. In and out. Seriously, Moose? Th you you want to come kill me now? I'm not going to be able to outrun a moose, am I? No. Nope, I'm going to have to fight the damn thing, because I can't, I can't get far enough ahead of it to actually even close a door on it. So this is fire extinguisher versus moose. And apparently Amigo as well, right? It's the same Amigo from up north. It dives through the window and slams us into the wall. We got moosed. As soon as the moose saw me, it was game over. I couldn't outrun the bastard. Even coming into the house, he's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm coming through that bathroom window. I'm a moose, I shouldn't even be able to fit through a bathroom window, but by God, I'm gonna get you. How did its antlers get through the window? That's what I want to know. I've got some questions here. We're not going to be an evacuee survivor again, game. You can quit that. Wilderness, crossbow hunter, got night vision. Psychopath, disease resistant, but illiterate. Unable to read books. However, good at bashing weapons, piercing weapons, submachine guns, tailoring, and archery. That's who we're going to be. It's not like I'm going to survive long enough to want to read books anyways. So are you my partner? Are you my partner in crime? Let's wield the crossbow and reload it. A swimmer zombie leaps from the deep water. And we start in the middle of nowhere. Hazardous waste sarcophagus. Okay. And there's a motel to the south of us. Hey, listen, man. Aurelio, are you going to come with me or not? You want to travel with me? You can keep me safe. Okay. Um. You got anything for me? Any items? Eh, just never mind. I've not had any luck getting people to follow me. We already bump into a zombie. What is this? Is this the trash? A gallon jug, an aluminum can? That is a trash can. It's a big old dumpster. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I want in here just so we can try and try and find a backpack. We need to run though. That's one of them nasty feral zombies. 
Wait a second, is this one of those open motels where every room faces the road? Yes, it is. I shouldn't have come here. This container can be resealed. Hmm. This is like the motel from Trailer Park Boys. This is not where I want to be. I'm just gonna leave this place. And I guess that pool is where the zombie swimmer jumped out of. Well, good luck, Aurelio. We're completely abandoning that hellhole. Stop running. You're done running. It was like every single room had a zombie jumping out of it. Don't make me kill you, squirrel. I'm slightly hungry. Got wolves and dogs in the area. I think I see one. Yes, go away. I hate pack animals. I hate the ones that just nip at you and run away. And I'm pretty sure wolves and dogs actually scheme to circle you. We need to just get out of these woods. We were down here hunting and foraging for some supplies. Unfortunately, we've lost contact with our, our little survival camp. They were supposed to be packing up and moving out, and they were going to give us the coordinates and where to meet them. But that was two days ago, and we haven't heard from them. So now we've got to hunt them down and find them. A giant fly. Let me guess. Probably hostile. Well... There's a science lab up here. I think we'll swing by that. A lemming? All I know is there's a lot of peaceful animals up here just running away from me. We're basically using them as a wall of, um, hickory nuts. A wall of meat. In case there's a turret up ahead or anything like that. A turret. I'm not going to be able to get in here. Damn it. Sometimes you might get incredibly lucky and like find a key card or something out in the open. Like just a dead scientist. There's a battery over there. Or maybe like 12 dead scientists. The wind is making our left hand feel cold. Yes, I know. Um, I guess I don't have a choice. Let's make a pair of sock mitts and put them on my hands. Like, what are you? What the hell are you? It's a Spinosaurus. A huge dinosaur about the size of a small house with a ferocious crocodile-like head and a cell on its back. Hmm. I can guarantee you that some crossbow bolts are not going to bother that thing. The real question is, how quick is it? <laughs> Am I going to, can I run away from it? It gored something to death up here. Look at all this death and destruction. A pulped lemming corpse. Lemmings, lemmings, lemmings. More lemmings. I guess all these lemmings just lemming themselves right into it. I don't want a preset character. If I do a preset character, it'll be for my YouTube channel. It'll be like a long-term character that goes over, you know, of multiple videos. <sighs> Let's try to run. This thing is just stomping around. I can't let it even afford to get one hit on me. Thankfully... Its turning radius is incredibly bad, and we managed to slow it down enough that I think we'll be able to get out of here. What I need to do is find a T-Rex to sick after it. Oh my god, don't stop running, ever. Hmm... I'm gonna run into the river. 
try lighting a fire. It hit us. And we're blinded. And we're dead. Oh. We got whatever. We got spinode. That was the last thing I was expecting to run into was a goddamn dinosaur. I mean, I know that they're in the game. But I've never ran into one out in the open. A senior citizen. With martial arts training. When lightweight, but a bad temper. Just like every old senior citizen I know. If you don't... If you get on their bad side. Helicopter crash. Missed survivor. A mage hunter, a seeker of the arcane. Hmm. Vanessa Varela. She's got four points in arcana. <laughs> I was wondering if you would say something about old people, Grimm. Uh, let's let's be the mage hunter. I'm curious what arcana is. Hmm. So what do we do? Start at like a mage tower or something? Strange Grove. We've spotted a hunting horror. We start with a book called The Cleansing Flame. Um, I don't I don't like what I'm hearing. The hunting horror hits our torso. It's this little bastard right here. A man-sized worm-like creature. Oh, and I've got this thing over here too. A blank body. And a flaming eyeball. It's ignoring me. That's ignoring me. Hunting horror is fleeing. Let's just get out of this strange grove. Do I have anything to wield? Hammer of the hunter, no. Dull essence. I don't have an actual weapon, I think. Hunting horror hits our head. There's a lot of them. You have magic? I don't know how to use magic. Like, what's the... The hammer is magic. Okay, so do I activate it? L. Meditate. We hold the hammer high by the power of Grayskull. Dull essence shall make the hammer shine. So my hammer is magic, but... I don't guess... So, but it's magic, but it doesn't have any spells, right? I mean, I can meditate or hold the hammer high. The cleansing flame? No, I don't want to study that. Stop reading? Yes. Hmm, the book is too complex. <sighs> yeah. I can reload? We reload the hammer of light. Hold the hammer high. So I guess you reload. Do I have to fire with it? No. Oh, and a bear! Hey. Okay, before we die, how do you use magic? I've reloaded the hammer. I've tried to hold it above my head. Like, we hold... Oh. I have to reload it, then hold it, and then get a big error message. Tried to set invalid ammo. Ave Martello! The hammer gives off a golden light. Okay. Do nicked con and halt Hammerzeit. I don't know what that does. Oh my gosh. We're blinded. I don't know if that was me that caused the explosion. The hunting horror stares at us. The flaming eye stares at us. We hear a huge boom. That couldn't have been me. If that was my magic, I'm the worst mage ever. Any, any mage that gets hurt by their own magic. Whatever. We're in immense pain. Our whole body hurts. There's... An, there's that... We're, we're dead. You know why we're dead? Besides... Forget these things. Dull essence. I mean, besides the fact this thing's gonna kill me... Even if we made it through here, there's a fucking Spinosaur on the road. Okay, fine. Fuck it. We'll reload. A 
huge fucking explosion. Almost kills me again. It rips my arm off. So far, my opinion of magic is... Why? Why would you ever want to do that to yourself? Magic is suicidal. And I can barely pick my way through the forest. Oh, goody, spiders. I don't think we'll go anywhere near the center of that clusterfuck of webs, though. Oh, there is a T-Rex somewhere. That's perfect. Let's stay far, far away from it. It is to the west. And thankfully, it didn't see me. Okay, somewhere around here, there's a Spinosaur. There has to be. Wait a second. Let's reload. We reload the Hammer of Doom. Awaiting our chance to royally screw ourselves. The coyote hits us. We pierce it. You better run away. Once. That's it. Fine. I'm going to kill myself. We hold the hammer high. And we're blinded. I don't even think that that does anything to, like, the, to the animals around me. This game is so fucking ridiculous. Doubly so with mods. No, don't dive into the water. <laughs> a giant crayfish? Killed by a giant crayfish. It latches onto our nipple that was almost dead. And gives us the world's most deadly titty twister of our life. I was expecting magic to be, you know, magic missile or lightning bolts or something. We got twisted. I wasn't expecting magic to be drop a nuclear bomb on yourself that does not affect anything but you. Depends how you use it. I thought that the magic only went off whenever you reloaded it, activated it, and then swung at something. An evacuee barbarian. I don't think so. Hmm. What do we want to be? This might be the last one. Well, maybe another hour. The sun's starting to come up, so it's almost prime picture time. Let's see, we start in a gun store and a burning building, a preppy student. Bonita Mares has never worked a day in her life. She was born in the lap of luxury with a golden spoon in her hand. Until the apocalypse hit. She's been running from survivor camp to survivor camp and today she finds herself in a gun store that's burning down. What could go wrong here? Okay. We need to be quick here. We're dressed super stylish. A pair of stylish sunglasses. We start with a messenger bag. We've got a book called How to Succeed in Business. Our dad wrote it. He even signed it before he gave it to us. We've got some Adderall, mineral water, cell phone, money bundle. Um, what do we want? These are all the magazines. This is the ammo. We've got plenty of 223, it looks like. So I need a gun that is 223. Double barrel shotgun, shotgun, an American 180. A Ruger Mini 14. That's 223, isn't it? Yeah, Parth, we're gonna have like. Just a couple turns to grab the ammo and the magazines. A CX-4 Storm. That looks like a tripod mounted machine gun. An SKS. I think an SKS is... That might be 223 as well. And an M4A1. That's 223, isn't it? Or It's 556, but that's also compatible with 223, right? Hmm. 
Trap and Field, Modern Rifleman. Maybe we should grab that book on the way, too. CX4 Storm. Is 762? I don't have any 762 ammo, unfortunately. It'd be pointless to grab it. There might be more gun... No, that's probably just the firing range back there. Okay, so... The Ruger Mini 14... Or the M4A1. Personally, I've I've actually seen a Ruger Mini 14, and I thought it was one of the most badass looking guns in the store. It was like all wood, and it was super tiny. It looked like it'd be a good brush gun. I think we're gonna get the Mini 14. So we spotted a skeleton too. Let's grab you. 210 Rotary Magazine. Um, is that the only one? Let's get that 223, that 223, and we're going to start running. We leap over the table and grab the modern rifleman on the way across. Let's get that. I wonder if I have time to wield it. Takes us a very long time to wield it, and we're going to reload it. Store that in our inventory, then reload. Um, the whole store is coming down. Come on, how long is it going to take to reload this? Good lord. Um, we're out of here. Okay, so where did we start? I think this is a completely new town, thankfully. We've got a regional school, large office tower... Hmm. I kind of want to say we should head southeast and go through some of these places. Pool, arcade, a museum. That would be a great place to go. A clothing store. Get that ever lovable backpack. Houses. An actual radio station, not just a radio tower. Yeah, I wasn't even going to bother talking to that guy. A dojo. I've never seen one of those before. So, this could be a really good town, provided we don't screw it up. And maybe that regional school is where we were at, too, before all the apocalypse happened. Hmm. Sporting goods store. Actually, that's where we need to go. We just need to go down this road. Don't do it, skeleton. Okay, hang on. Thankfully, we participated in track a decent amount. So this running is not going to bother me too bad. I just want to get far enough out that maybe we can leave some of these zombies behind. Nope. And a spitter zombie is already after me. I, I hate spitter zombies. If I have to open fire on that thing, I will. And I'm gonna have to. So, I don't have much confidence in hitting it. Take careful aim and fire. We miss. We hit him for 37 damage. Unfortunately for the Shrieker zombie, it steps in front of the shot intended for this one. Stop aiming, yes. There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything I would need. Let's reload, too. We see a zombie approaching, yes. I don't know where it's... Oh, from right there. And we are completely out of ammo. Number five while well, aiming is a thing, huh? Okay. This really does kind of make me mad. Can I reload the magazine quickly? Eject Ruger stored in inventory. I'm going to have to try to bash this thing down, I think. I don't know. We're going to end up getting chased off into the middle of nowhere and dying. Public works. That would be like uh, the sewer water treatment plant, probably. 
if I had to guess. You know what? Regular zombies, I just won't worry about. What the hell was that? Jake Wakefield reloads their crossbow. They shot at me. Jake, I'm not a zombie. You jerk bag. He fires again. The shot misses. I thought that I had reloaded an empty mag. I really, I really do not care for the reloading system, I think, in this game sometimes. It becomes too much of a clusterfuck. Shrieker zombie, where the hell is that at? To the north. There's been way too much runabout for this character. Let's see, amount five. Like, okay, on this screen, the 22380 there is how much ammo I've got, right? So I can either choose to reload from the individual rounds or from the magazine. As I think how that system works. And if you choose the bottom option, you reload one shell at a time and really screw yourself somehow we made it to the clothing store on accident so not where I wanted to be or I well it is where I wanted to be but it's not where I intended to be let's pick up the leggings we need to get dressed here um where are those what do we got a hoodie a dress shirt a sweater well that's why I was curious about like, because I could have swore I reloaded something, and it wasn't my rifle because when I went to fire it, it said it was empty. Let's reload now. We reload it. Reload that. Okay. It's a pain in my dick. I don't need any of those cargo pants. I just want a backpack. I don't need sexy leather pants or anything like that. A pair of extra long white gloves. Tons of jackets. Jackets of every shape and size. A halter top. Hmm. And apparently I'm not going to get lucky. Am I using the empty mag? So, how do you reload a goddamn magazine? We heard a horrible shriek. Ignore it. It, it kind of pisses me off that you can even reload an empty magazine into your gun. Why would, why would that, why would your character do that? I guess because I told the character to do that. That's why it would do that. And then we guess these are all just fitting rooms. Hmm. I'm just gonna rant about magazines and reloading now. So this was a bust. Where do we need to go now? Hit all of these houses on the way down to... I don't even know why you would go into it. There's the sporting goods store. That was another good one. Subway station. Whatever. No matter where we go, we're gonna die. And there's a smoker zombie coming for us. I know... What that little visual glitch on my map means, you bastard. And having to fight him would would just be game over already. Okay, what do we got? Playboy, some aspirin. If I had books to read, I would honestly just set up shop here. Do I have anything? How to succeed in business and modern riflemen. Unfortunately, we can't see to read. I completely forgot about that. Hmm. Okay. We're just gonna pass a little bit of time in here until maybe that smoker leaves. I don't feel like going out there and dealing with him. You can change the city size in the initialization options. I think I've cranked mine up to 10 and the default is four or something like that. It seems to give me a good mix of, like, massive big cities 
and then small little rural ones. Little bitty suburbs to start in. Okay. That was a couple hours. Are you gone yet? Yes. Maybe I can just sit right here and read in peace. Modern Rifleman. What did we learn? It brings our rifle skills up to one. Reading this book affects our morale by one. A chapter of this book takes eight minutes to read. It contains 22 crafting recipes. I didn't really want crafting recipes. It could be fun. No, don't read it. What about how to succeed in business? Studying barter? No. <laughs> Tempting. Zombie spotted? Stop reading, yes. It's that smoker zombie again. He's waiting right outside the pizza parlor. Does this place have a back door? I could sneak out of? No. Of course not. Let's go ahead and just take advantage of all the supplies here, though. Two tin cans of red sauce that we could chug down. Some Italian seasoning to wash down that pizza that we just ate. Okay. We're gonna have to run. And then get completely tired. Our character's in a great mood for some reason. She's loving this. She'd always wanted to do more than just, you know be a preppy kid, and now she gets to live the dream of being a zombie killer. And some socks that actually fit us. See you later, Grebbier. I'll be winding down the stream probably as soon as this character dies anyways. A fancy hairpin for lockpicking. Something that I've still not done. What was this place? A house. What type of house has all these little beds in it? Hoodie. We bounce from bed to bed and then roll through the doorway. Screaming with joy through the whole damn thing. We're living the dream right now. We got a large quiver! In case I wanted to go... Be an archer. The Bible, the King James Version, and an American flag. It can be worn over your clothing. For some reason. Maybe to keep you warm. Okay. And a motorcycle helmet, yes. That should keep me a little bit safer. Okay. Strangely enough, there's two survivors out there. It could be an orphanage. I've known some people that do have rooms like that, though. Sometimes you just gotta cram as many people into your house as you can. It's just V to check my mood. What is my mood? I'm having a mood swing, yes! Thankfully, the mood swing is in my favor. We also enjoyed the light zest of some pesto and an orange soda. But we're wet, and that's very annoying. So where do we want to go? I'm really curious about the museum over there, honestly. Okay, hang on. I saw a zombie coming from that way. Maybe we can sneak out this side. We got a feral runner over there. Hmm. Plastic canteen. That's good. Let's wear it. We slap the canteen onto our belt. It clips on as if it was made for this belt. Hello, zombies. I'm most worried about the feral runners that are all over the place. We've got one to the north, one to the northwest, and one to the south. Hmm. 
Honestly, just looking at this screen, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the museum. Unless I get really clever with my footwork here. And a little bit lucky, maybe. So, oh my goodness, it's a liquor store. This is what she was looking for, too. Tequila? No, that's definitely not it. Chardonnay. Cabernet Sav... I can't even pronounce that. Savignon? Savignon? Belgian L. Let's take that. We're gonna end up in the museum drunk off our ass. And a bottle of triple sec. Enough alcohol here to get completely tore up. And I went the wrong way. Swimmer zombie, zombie necromancer, smoker zombie. Hmm. I'm about ready. Yep, I saw you guys. I say, I I'm, I'm willing to die in order to get to this museum. To check it out. It's that important to me. And it's this building right here. Unfortunately, the caretaker decided it was more important to lock the doors before the apocalypse, just in case humanity survived. Maybe it was Grimmeth in there. You gotta protect all the... all the valuable historical stuff. And they're just gonna tear up that car. Okay. Go away, smoker zombie. I'm really shocked that there's no side windows or back windows on that place. From the northeast, we hear a huge explosion. Curious. Could it be? It could be. It's the gun store finally going up. Rest in peace, buddy. You had your chance to get out. And guys? No, don't stop the... The car engine fails to start. What is wrong with this thing? It seems to have everything. The roof is real dented up. The battery is down to 8% though. Okay. I've tried to turn it over as much as I possibly can. It was slowly just killing the battery and not actually accomplishing anything. Which disappoints me just a little bit. If there's a way to check even more information on that screen for cars, I don't know what it is. I'm sure that there is. Okay. I don't know what that was, but I think it was Amigo, possibly. They just busted in that door behind me. Down to blanket. Plastic bag of rolling tobacco. <sighs> now, is that the dinosaur zoo again? It's a park. It's a dinosaur park. There's a hazmat zombie, and there's Amigo over there to the west. Okay. We're gonna have to sprint back out this window. Eh, that's not Amigo. What the hell just happened? I think we tripped on the bush there and ended up getting surrounded. Um, we try to sprint our way out of it, but the feral zombie continues to get in our way. Well, guys, it was fun. But, that is... I'll show up. Fuck you, feral zombie. Ruining my day. Get out of my face. If there's any possible way I can make it out of this, I'd be really surprised. The fucking feral zombie just jumped through the window. Okay. And like it beat me through the window as I was trying to go through it. I don't know if she's tough enough to make it through this. 
Our legs are getting all tore up. Nope, not gonna make it. You know, I might be dying a lot, and I know I'm not getting a whole lot done, but I am learning a lot about the game. We got feraled. And that's, that's the main thing right now, is just learning more and more about the game. So when I do create a custom character, I can actually get somewhere. They can all be open from the inside because I swear I've ran across some windows that can't be open from the inside. And I sat there and I rubbed my face on it like a retarded little baby. Is there a way on this screen to look at all your old characters too, like your tombstones and stuff? Because I'd like to see how all of my horrible characters kind of stack out. I mean, they have the tombstone there, so... Where do they go? Is it a text folder? A text file? <sighs> I don't even ha I'm not even gonna do KSP this morning. As tempting as it is. What time is it? 6.11? Yeah. True, it doesn't cost movement to rub your face on windows. It just takes all of your dignity and a little bit of your pride. But I guess in the apocalypse you don't necessarily need any of that. Sorry the stream was so short, guys. But I will be back tonight, for sure. Probably with more Cataclysm. Unless I find something else that I want to play. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you later.